Hey guys, so my last video was like hindsight where, you know, I look at hindsight, I tell you, hey, this is a good buy, this is a bad buy, and hindsight is really nice because you can learn from it. Um, you're not going to repeat it again because the price has already spiked, the boat has already left. But something like Cavern of Soul, something that like you know and your gut feeling is a very valuable card. Cavern of Souls I had for less than like 5 or $6 uh, back in the day, and now it's worth like 40 $50. And you can buy lists easily for $25, which I did buy list a lot of them out to Strike Zone, which is not a great play on my part as I kept them a little longer. But anyway, I'm going to tell you guys what cards I'm looking at, and in particular one card is Noble High Arc. Noble High Arc is played in a lot of decks. It is played in many different types of decks, in my opinion, it will always be played because it is a one drop creature that can produce mana and also has an extra ability. So many decks, including in fact, far superior than Birds of Paradise. Now, will they ever make a card better than it? No. Because the mana acceleration cards we currently have, which Mark Rosewater has said, you know, don't expect us to have a one drop creature that can produce one of any color unless there's a limitation to it it's never going to get better than noble hierarch essentially that's what i read that statement to mean was we're not going to ever produce a card we're going to produce cards like mystic and just really really bad cards uh, or what's the next what's the card that we're using right now shaman some type of shaman that you can produce a green and it has haste and cost two. The difference between costing two and costing one is night and day. I don't feel like we're gonna get a card like Noble Hierarch or better than Noble Hierarch in a really long time. But taking Noble Hierarch as an example, why do I like it? A, reprinted in Modern Masters 2015. FYI, a lot of those cards are spiking. Uh, there's no better example than Eye of Ugin, which back in that day was like a total trash card. No longer. Um, so when you look at the reprints in modern, obviously, you know, not Splinter, not Splinter Twin. Obviously, that's a very bad example because it got banned and it's not relevant for this discussion. We're approaching Gate Gatewatch. Gatewatch is a modern format where people are going to watch pros play this format and they're going to get excited and they're going to want to build the decks. With Twin gone and Summer Bloom to a lesser extent, you're opening up a tremendous amount of deck possibilities in the field. I don't know what deck's gonna be the top deck. I know it's not gonna be Twin or Bloom, but by banning those two cards, you are going to be, you're gonna keep every other card in Modern this close from spiking. And should a deck that we have never heard of win, or should a older deck win, then those cards in that deck are gonna instantly spike in price and that's what's happened all along with these uh, Pro Tours. Whatever deck wins is gonna, every card in it, maybe there'll be one or two cards in it which is unique uh, to that deck and that's gonna spike in price. Noble Hierarch, very steady. I like it a lot, reprinted recently. I don't expect another reprint soon. Unlikely for them to print another card that is stronger than it anytime in the near future after their statements they made. So when you look at what you need to buy, first of all, if you have to build the Infect deck, buy your cards right now because it's not gonna get cheaper. Modern as a format is only going to explode after the Pro Tour and after we go to Modern season. When it's summertime, we are going, if you do not buy your cards now, you will regret it. You will regret it. Your Eye of Ugins have already spiked, your Yagamayer's Tombs or whatever. These cards have already began spiking and they will continue to spike. And you, the question is not which one. Although Noble Hierarch I think is a very good one to pick. It's the entire format is at any time, any card in this format that's being played right now can double over price, triple over price, Stony Silence is a $10 card in this format. I remember uh, not being very happy pulling them in Innistrad. 
I remember people pulling them and then just leaving them in the table because it was so, it wasn't even worth as much as the land, the foil land. People would draft the foil land over Stony Silence at the last pick. It was a last pick of every pack. No one had any inkling it would be worth $10. Like I did not know it would be worth $10. And I now have to go to my binders and find more of them because I have a lot of, I drafted a ton during the industry ad, but it is $10. So my, what you should buy now is you, if you're going to play modern, you got to make your deck now. It's, it's going to be too late. You're going to be annoyed because just random cards are going to spike up in price. And I don't, I cannot predict what they will be, but it's going to be absolutely a blood bath if you don't make your deck right now. And you will complain about it in June. I guarantee you that. Bye, guys.